Ah, I got you. Hey, before we start today's FF16 stream, I would like to make a minor addendum to the content of the chat. Um, uh, a few hours ago, while I was on break, an article came out uh, describing that the 19-year-old on that submersible was terrified of going but and didn't want to do it uh but only went because uh his dad wanted to go and it was father's day so uh that submarine shit is immediately no longer funny at all like just fucking fun's over everybody all right mm. In other words, video games! Oh, wow! Oh, let's wow! Fun video game time! Wow! Hey! Ha ha! Ah. Oh. Bro, I drank so much coffee. I drank I drank like six cups of coffee in the three hours since I've seen you guys. Paige, Paige taught me the secret. We have a coffee machine. It makes a coffee. And I put the sugar in and I stir it. And I'm like, how come what? You know, I do this, right? I take, I take this. Pretend this is a fucking spoon. Pretend this is a spoon. I go, ooh, ooh, right? And my coffee tastes pretty good, but then I drink the coffee the page made, and it's like, what's up with that? Oh, so she does this. She puts the sugar in, right? And then she just, whoa, whoa, right? Whoa. But then she goes, whoa, whoa, to get the sugar crystals from the bottom to the top. Incredible. Huge difference. That isn't a spoon, but what is that? That is a Resident Evil one armor key that someone gave me it used to be part of a keychain but the keychain part broke um someone gave me at magfest like four or five years ago um and it is my it is my happy little happy little item that i like to hold it's my emotional support key okay it's for my emotional support Everyone should have an emotional support object. 3D printed? No, it's made out of fucking metal, dude. It's made out of metal. Don't you know what metal is? So I'm having this fun time with capture cards where the Avermedia internal capture card that I had suddenly stopped working for PlayStation 5. Then the Elgato external capture card that I had started desyncing the audio. And now the external Avermedia capture card that I have is giving me shit for switching inputs. So this is fun. I'm having fun. The streaming process is very fun when all of the things decide to be fuck ass. Thank you, Elgato and Avermedia. I'm slightly frustrated about the capture card. <laughs> hey, let's the uh now the Vampire Survivors has announced Couch Co-op. You gonna do a stream with Paige? I'm gonna be really blunt about Paige's uh, 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 love for um, a Vampire Survivors. Um, she can't see it. You know how we're like, haha, bitrate, haha, it's a mess. Like Paige, like literally cannot see Vampire Survivors. It's it's like a it's like a soup within like three minutes. <laughs> she just can't see it. 
Even with her glasses? Yes. Fun fact, pregnancy makes your eyesight worse. That's a real thing. Hey, Martin Clue kicked in a sub. Thanks, man. Hey, Pat, how's 16? It's great. It's great. I'm actually, I'm in a weird place. I don't know what to stream after 16. Right? I don't know. Because it's all holding pattern until like end of August. Right? So we'll go back to some old shit. Canorius sub. Thanks, Canorius. Aoko kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Aoko. I gotta say, the scene where Bahamut and Odin fight is bugging me way more than it probably should. What's the point of foot soldiers when both sides have their waking nukes present? So the player sees a bigger body count. They have a they actually, in the time period, the last part of the stream that we watched, did a really good example of explaining why. And it's because using your dominant powers gives you fucking super cancer. So, like, ideally, the army would handle it. But if the other guy brings out their their their, their bullshit, uh-oh, the cancer. I don't know why I used a German accent for that, but hey. Roostus kicked in a sub. FF six months teen. You tried. Thank you. Logan and Bennett kicked in a sub. Thanks, Logan and Bennett. Just finished Death Stranding, started 16. After the slow, calm process of Death Stranding, 16 has been a whirlwind. Oh, yeah, for real. For real. Epic Skeptic kicked in a sub to say, Nice day in Canada. It is a beautiful day outside. Beautiful day. And Drake Valentine kicked in 10 bucks. Thanks, Drake. Going to my first local tournament tomorrow for Street Fighter 6. I know I'll get drowned in pools, but excited anyway to play anyway and learn something if I can. Don't drown in pools. You might not drown in pools. You don't know who who's there. You might not drown in pools. If it's not like a very stringently seated bracket, you may not drown in pools. Also, i like to point out, everyone, that uh, uh, Twitch is experimenting with the Akasupas to pin shit to the top of the board with um, the, the money. Uh, I will reiterate, it's on the thing. Uh, if you are doing a subscription to just do a donation... Feel free to use a PayPal donation, as Twitch will see much less of that, and I will see much more. If possible, always, always direct donate instead of subscribe. It's much better for everyone, except for Twitch. <sighs> Pat's chat suddenly have zero subscriber, but then I get ads, and that's, uh, yeah, you know what, the value, it, you know what, it kind of works out. That makes sense. You're, you're totally right. <sighs> Don't Akasupa me, man. Don't Akasupa me. Wait, no, do Akasupa me. Ak Akasupa, he's nuts. Thank you. Oh... Uh... Oh, uh, what the hell is this? Shogun Nunto. Oh, man. This shit does not work at all for fucking Chatterino. Oh, wonderful. You should run ad breaks when you go piss to listen to the number of pre-roll ads. I don't know how to do that. All right, let's pop out this shit. <clears throat> let's pop this motherfucker. Pop out chat. Hey, you know what's really great about Twitch chat? Um, the pop out mode uh, sucks ass compared to Chatterino. Absol absolutely fucking terrible. Compared to chatter, like embarrassing. Oh my god, that is. Oh good, I'm glad I'm using the the built-in support. Oh, it's good.
What the fuck? Hmm. I should get sponsored by Bidet Brand. Bidets are cool. They wash your ass. You ever have your ass washed? It's all right. All right, well. This this piss is brought to you by Tushy Bidet. Wash your ass. It's disgusting. Ugh. All right. Hey, by the way. Wash your fucking asshole and your dick and balls. Wash them. Make you, I will. Even the ladies? I mean, I'll be blunt. They they probably don't have to be told that. You played Melee, you can't? That's fair. I gotta buy some fucking potions, bro. You say that? Listen. Have you ever cleaned a woman's bath? Hold on. I'm playing the fucking game and I forgot to change the fucking... Um, have you ever cleaned a woman's bathroom? Not like the bathroom in your house that has a woman in it. I mean like a, a fucking public woman's bathroom. It's... It's real bad. It's... It, it's really bad. Yeah, I cleaned a, the women's bathroom in a bar. And, uh, The idea of the the line is really long and you have to wait five times as long to use the fucking women's bathroom only to show up and it's in that state. Oh, man. Y'all are just doing it to yourselves, lady. Z yeah, like there's... I, the way I said that is like there's one lady going around and fucking up every bathroom. No, um... <laughs> uh... The Ur Lady. That's right. What are you after? Can I have a fucking potion? I would like a f fucking potion. Ah, uh, potions are cheap, bro. Maybe lighten your load first. Much obliged. Thanks very much. There you go. Give me the fucking potions. I swear, fuck. Oh, me mum. I ha okay. I gotta say. I gotta. I gotta say. Um. Uh, British people. Um. That's it. That is all I have to say. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what sucks? You know what sucks ass? How far into the game am I? I can answer that with- Oh, I didn't even heal myself! Motherfucker! Wait, I bet if I fucking fast travel to my own spot, I'll heal. Uh, I'm about... Ten and a half hours in. Um... Fuck off.
All right, I guess we're buying more potions. Uh, so here's the thing. The British accent is really, really cool. Yeah, I'm 10 streamer hours in. Okay, fair I enough. Do. Fair enough, you piece of shit. You think you're good? You think you're good at making fun of my streams? Much obliged. Thanks very much. You're taking a break from FF16? I mean, earlier today, I would be technically taking a break from Final Fantasy 16. Because I took a break from around... 240 to... Uh, 5 o'clock. I had lunch with the wife. It was nice. I'm going the wrong fucking way. No, I'm not! I'm going the right way. Yeah. Run, Cloyf! Wait, do I have enough shit for uh, an ability upgrade? Oh, heat wave! Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's it. big on this heat wave shit, bro. Heat wave is the shit. How long will it take Wooly to beat this game? That's a trick question. Wooly is not playing this game. Wooly will unlikely play this game. Hey, Gene, what up, man? I just unlocked fucking level 2 heat wave, and uh, this shit is never going away. Uh, I gotta admit, maybe. Maybe it's a silly thing to say, but um, my like funzy fantasy, not my Final Fantasy, is uh, for Wooly to beat the FF9. And then it's for the remake to be immediately, immediately announced. Like, like he's he's like beating the game, and he's about to fight Necron, and then they're like, "Final Fantasy IX remake. It's the same game. It looks so nice. Oh my goodness, it's out now." And it'd be like, it would be cruel, but it would also be really funny because I'm an asshole, and I I would think that would be funny if that happened to me, though, right? That that's where that's where my logic comes in. Right? Is that... Am I being a massive asshole? I don't know, because it depends... Depends if, like, I would, like, laugh at myself. Wow, these guys are tough. Bad Starving Wolf. Gotta find this Bryce. Let him know the road's safe. Oh, I was hoping it would happen because it'd be funny. And we get an FF9 remake. They're, Gene, they are th that Nvidia list is like sacrosanct. Royce has been stopping the far side of that bridge for bloody ages. You make sure like that nothing, nothing on that list has not happened. Like it's really funny. That list is super for real. Hey, let's try out my new kit. You know, Alex McCullough mentioned that that sounds like uh, the FF8 opening, and I have to agree. Yeah. 
Ah, fuck. Thanks, doggy. Wow, you can... Oh, you can do all sorts of shit! Feels good, man. I am liking these upgrades. These are good goddamn upgrades. Another Minotaur! Oh fuck, I just spit all over myself. I just spit all over myself. This is gross. I'm sorry, everyone. How tall are you? Oh man, it's getting real easy to switch between these. Oh fuck. Maybe I should focus less on not switching between them. Focus more on, oh, I don't know. Staying alive. Okay, yeah, I can't get out that fast. Is he wave the best move? Yes. Oh, you're you were here. Didn't even know you were there. Sorry, bud. Yeah, is... Is Heat Wave the best move? Let's think. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh... Da -da -da. That I have right now, probably. Yeah, the the best move I'm probably gonna like is the big old punchers from. Uh... 
the big old punchers from uh Don't let them get away. Uh Titans keeps that. Man, you can charge that shit up fast as fuck. I hope Titan has a theme that sounds like Titan. You know, you all know what I'm talking about. You all know what I'm talking about. Dun -dun 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 Titan! Oh man, I hope during the Titan fight he gets his little his, his little RC car. Oh man, that's like the favorite Titan bit. Your favorite sets are Shiva, Titan, and Odin. I know for a fact I'm going to like Odin a lot. So I found that's not happening. I know. Um, I know for a fact that uh, the part of the game that Platinum built is the Titan sequence. Which is a fun idea. How long have they last? Are you Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves, so I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Yeah, I got magic. And again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast talking to like Susie that, that uh... The so Titan sequence well, is the part that shut her sure pass off fucking thanks, console off. And I'm, all I can think of is like, maybe have less dust in your computer, Susie. It's so weird they helped make a better game than Bayo 3. Isn't it? Isn't it? Hold on. Isn't it weird that every time Platinum gets given money, direction, and deadlines, they make something really good. But every time they're like, Yeah, I don't know when the game will come out. Maybe we'll restart development four times. It's like a fucking mid. Hmm. It's almost... Hey, hold on a second. Didn't Capcom used to remake games in development over and over and over and over and over? What happened to those people? Where did they go? Hmm. It's a mystery. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Working inside a deadline is is like more important than most people realize because everybody hates deadlines But you know what you actually hate way more, you know that buddy of yours. That's like hey, man Did you finish it with Lord Murdoch when I was young? Rosaria seemed a very different place back then Hey, did you finish what you were supposed to do now, nah, man? There's plenty of time. You're like, well, I can't do my thing until you're done. Ah, don't worry about it, man. It's like, fuck, do it! Do it now! So I can do my part! <laughs> yeah, we'll take a better look at those scarecrows when we go back. Bad spider. Hmm. You know, there's a pre-order bonus for this game that you got extra gill and you get extra levels and you got extra AP. And like, I'm just thinking about it about how fucking totally useless that shit is. How mad pointless it is. Ooh. 
Oh, look at that fucking bar go. How goes the 16? Pretty well. Pretty good. I'm starting to get used to this stagger. Um, I really like that the stagger phenomenon has become Final Fantasy's action focus. It was like one of the only gameplay things from um, 13 that was a really good idea. Like, it was a really good idea. Like, the idea of, like, beating on an enemy correctly and then you do stagger. And it's also a nice, like, addendum to, like, it's not one more, like, the persona. Well, thanks for the gift sub, Logan and Bennett. Very appreciate it. Very appreciate it. All right, let's take a look at these windmills. Well, that's a cute little detail. Aw. Aha. I don't have a third set, though, so if I had a third set, I'd really be able to wallop on him. Drink up now. Oh, we made it. Made it to Ace Poe. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. Did I see this character? You, I called them out and pointed the camera Clive at them. Rossfield. Shit, shut up. Shut up, woman. Shut the fuck up. It's me, Hannah. Rodney Murdoch's wife. Oh, shit. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. Give her a hug, dipshit. <gasps> if you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. Okay. We should be delighted. Give me food badly. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh. To take to the road at such a tender age. I'm 28. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and. And now we're back. It, it's wonderful. Oh, to when see he disappeared. Well. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm a dumb idiot. I haven't been 28 since 98. Fuck off! I was not. No, I wasn't.
I've been what? When was I twenty? Twenty fourteen? Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? I don't know. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians by order of the Duchess. Re oh, she's running things! Or should I say, her Imperial Majesty. Oh, I'm gonna kill that bitch! I'm gonna kill Mama! The Emperor of Sambrek heralded a great many changes. Mm. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to. <sighs> Please. There is nothing to forgive. That bitch gotta get Did it. My mother not make an exception for you and your husband. Surely she would not refuse the Lord. Clive, her husband is dead. You, you killed him. <sighs> you haven't heard then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Yeah, he got vaporized. Oh, this is rough. Clive. Clive, it was absolutely your fault. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. <laughs> we can talk later. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. <gasps> Yay! So been very kind. Now I'll look like Dracula. He really does look like Dracula. Thirteen years of killing. Ooh, there's that moon! Without the faintest glimmer of hope. Gotta punch it! Hey, if I had any... If I had it was only Joshua that any doubt that the moon is the problem... I, I was watching Alex McCullough's video on the music. The main theme of the game is called moon gazing. Killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? So I can do sick action game combat. I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Oh, fuck. <laughs> just spilled coffee in my beard. I'm sorry. Do you remember Sticky that coffee on my the balcony <laughs> when we looked up at the moon? I do remember I that. Prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. <sighs> you came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Oh. 
Oh no! Oh no! We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. I know it's gonna take the whole last game. No, it's gonna take like eighty percent. Just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh my fucking god. Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. Sorry for depriving you of your memory. Wait, they gave me a new sword. It's, all. it's what your father would have wanted. I have a new sword. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, oh, that outfit is totally you. coming to the FF14. It may only have been for a short while, but seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. That half cape is sick. That is a very, very heaven's word design. Like, the half cape is like a lot of Dravenian stuff has it. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Alright, I just got... I just got more gear. Invictus. Good thing I upgraded this, this piece of shit. Metian Cross beats the piss out of the gold work. Well, I'm gonna be wearing this for quite a bit. Alright. I gotta take a quick five seconds to wash this coffee out of my beard. It, it, it just smell like coffee. I'm back. Hello. How am I doing on this? Next step is going to be Deadly Embrace, and then these two, I suppose. Oh, they, they automatically gave me the thing. That's nice. Apparently, uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk want to fight each other. So here's my prediction for that. What I believe is going to happen is... Um, Zuckerberg will be like, let's fight, and then Elon will realize it's actually going to happen and increasingly put ridiculous, stringent uh, requirements onto the fight. Uh, like, to, like, absolutely absurd, like, uh, this test, this test, all sorts of invasive tests to make sure he's not doping. Uh, and Zuckerberg will tell him to go fuck himself, and the fight will never happen. Where are you off to, then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. Relic of the Fallen it is. Must have stood there a thousand years. And in all that time, no one's ever been inside. Mysterious, eh? That does sound pretty mysterious. Anything take your fancy? Why would they offer me this to buy? 
Very strange. Very strange. There you go. There you are. All right. You see the journal that said the game was bad after playing the prologue with all the easy mode accessories, equip matching attack. Uh, weren't they actually not using the easy mode accessories? They were just using like dodge and dash. You, those are Elwins. By the flames, you're his firstborn, Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. You're wearing your dad's fit, dude. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. My dad is Dracula, thank the you. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. Yeah, like sure. Uh-oh, slavery redux. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary and never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then, the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. Why won't you come and take your slaves? Be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Clive Thank looks you, much more awkward standing straight well, in, days, in his new Dracula fit business. than he did if you could show him your um, face, I would be most grateful. in his imperial shit. <laughs> as fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master oh, fuck told off. you? Way. 
He's not here. Well, I can't leave without me. We waiting. walked ten feet. I let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Have you seen an old slave? Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Oh no, he's Living the old. In a dream he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Do you think I can fight him? Hey, you got an old guy around here? Well, now, unfamiliar faces. Ah. Huh. What brings you to East Pole, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. Yeah. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital, too, are you? We are, in a way. Just want to hang out, well, man. Just want to hang out. a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. Yeah, the fire was it rough. the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Hmm. Oh, listen to me. Telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. So I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Is Jill and Clive just huge? Yeah, they're a little huge. Just a, just a smidgen. A smidgen of hugeness. Oh, hold on a mo. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper might know where your bearer is. He's taken the old boy under his wing, so to speak. You should go and have a word with him. He'll be in the stables. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. That's a great name. That's a great name for a guy who likes animals. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come Dude, on, let's head for the stables. Th that, those arms, are oh god. People, some someone that's not me would know this. Do you know what Clive's outfit is? It is the Dravinian tank set from Anti Tower. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that up. I'm gonna pull that up because people are gonna be like, what are you talking about? Uh, Anti Tower, what's it called? What's it called? What's the gear? Uh, Dravinian... Thigh boots. Dravinian Greaves offending. Dravinian hairpin offending. Dravinian code offending. Here we go. Dravinian coat offending. Perfect. Found the, found the fucking photo. Give me... Give me a photo. Images. Mm, there it is. Okay. Uh, let me go into React and grab. Okay. And let's just. Okay, look at that. Okay. 
they took the same color and the arms, right? And then they moved the half cape to from the butt to the back. Like, and if you and if you took the 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 front chest part, it would still have the the dip, and remove the skirt. It's fucking super funny. That's super funny. I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius. Yeah. Th it's the arms and the legs, especially. Like, look at- like, I've seen that armor set over and over. The arms and the legs are fucking dead on. This will be very, very easy to add to the FF14. Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Oh, hey, Patrick. Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. So that's how it is. Man, look well, at fucking player one and player two here. Fucking there, black and red, and white and blue. Fighting. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Does Sid have tones of purple? Yes, he does. His whole... Uh, Sid's whole outfit from head to toe to is a dark purple leather. Let's just concentrate on finding him. How are the side quests so far? This is a fucking main quest. Uh, there's a there's a extreme difference in this game between big ass important set piece levels and RPG in. You've strayed even further. The RPG in parts are like kind of pointless and B tier, and the uh, the big set piece shit is like the most bombastic, expensive shit I've ever seen in a video game in my life. It's pretty weird, actually how different it is. Hmm, reminds me of something else, but I can't quite place it. Look. There's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Have you found the cheese for Titan yet? We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Take that, dog. Damn. Got owned. Uh. 
Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's Nausicaa, thank you so you much. You when I was playing this area me. earlier today, I was I like, that's just Bronze so Lake, long. and I'm glad to see somebody you else say it. Came. I'm not who you think. Clive. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. You wait for me in Eastpool until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Just push him. Just push him a little bit. Just push him. Just give him a little, give him a little nudge. Just whoop. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of Did you just see Jill sinking into the goddamn right fucking the ground just there? And now that I saw it. A little more brightly. It's not Greasy Pete, okay, you saw it, right? But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. I seen it. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The peep if it weren't for Lady Hannah Wait, what the? Oh, the you can skip these? Fuck. Provide for the few of us who stay behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here. We really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to Only a miracle could save us. Share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Foe striker set with a cape in addition to the hood and more metal bits. I'm gonna look at that. Foe striker. Foe striker set. Oh yeah, it totally is. You're right, yeah. <sighs> We did it, everyone. We 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 fixed slavery. Oh no, wait, we didn't do anything. We didn't do a fucking thing. Mmm. Dawn. <sighs> oh. The Deadlands are aptly named. It's here. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. Light is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Huh. What could possibly be draining all the ether? 
Hmm. Oh. What's this? Another relic of the fallen. No, it's not the moon, guys. It's it's using the crystal. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. Really? As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the land's life force, and problems are all that's left. Oh, ooh. Wow, it's it's also putting out a, a suck ass field. That's interesting. Oh, when I switch, it doesn't even I don't even have a little magic burst. Huh. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Hmm. Well, this ain't no good. Hey, doesn't that mean... Doesn't that mean that the place where Sid is hanging out and the Blight is there, that Dominance wouldn't be able to attack them? That's... ooh. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. It did go a little bit wrong. It did a little, a smidgen. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Okay, so obviously we're going on some magical realism and shit here, but like... There's one part about this particular part of the plot that I haven't quite latched onto, which is how does physically arriving at the location... Like, it's not like I'm gonna find a piece of paper that's like, 13 years ago, I saw a man and he was evil and then Clive was there, like... I guess we're, I guess we're trying to get some flashback going. Hopefully we get some cringe memories. Just trigger the echo. Damn it, that's totally what's happening, isn't it? Oh yeah, and Margrace is heading there, that's right, yeah. Good old Joshua Margrace. Almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Fucked up. Buried memories. Could I have done this? Could anyone? Bruh. Well, we really threw down, huh? What is it, Togo? Clive. Oh, he's just right. Oh, okay. He's just there. That's him. 
Oh, okay. Well, that was okay. Well, never mind all the shit I was saying. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Just never mind everything that I said. Uh, he's right there. Let's go get him. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. He probably went through that door in it. Damn it. He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine. Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the hall of the gate. The gate. It's a relic of the fallen. Only the phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? He went through the door, dipshit. Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Well, don't you have a little bit of Phoenix juice? Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. That looks a lot more technological than I was expecting. Are you sure about this? Nar. Never more. Now it is time for the blue crystal level. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Fucking this place really be a fallen ruin. You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. <sighs> that looks like a cocoon. Have you ever seen anything like this? Oh my god, this does sound like finding coils. No, don't do it, Cloyd! Jill? No, that was you, dumb shit. Oh, there's the technology. Thank you. What do we do? Fine, fuck it. It's scary. <laughs> More 
trouble. That's a fucking elegant defense spear! How can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. I have to. Mm. Guys, this is not just single player FF14. Shut up. You're right. It's definitely not. Totally different. Very not the same at all. I'll be very mad if there are deeper lore implications I missed because I haven't played 14 after Realm Reborn. Yeah, um, I don't know about that, but, mmm. Oh, there's a, Gene? Gene, you, it, ooh, it's a, ooh, there's a lot here. This looks like Ampador. This looks like the trip down to Ampador to fight Diabolos, which Ifrit was supposed to be, by the way. You know what this guy is? You know what this guy is? This is the fucking first boss at um, Fractal Continuum. That one's tough. Yeah, I don't know shit, bro. What could possibly be happening? I don't even know. Torgal, pick a spot. Favor win! Hey! I don't care, but still. You know what's really funny? 
um, to Pat is we massively fucked this area up in the fight. Like, we destroyed like, like 60-70% of the structure. Uh, but it's fun, but the, not the parts we needed to use. What the hell are they? Whatever they are, I don't think they're friendly. Ho, 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 ho. Fuck. Bad bomb. Fuck. What do you got going on? Nothing? No. There you go. There you go, buddy. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. Somebody in the chat I asked that earlier. For warmer welcome. Like, no, the only reason we're having to run it is because we're not supposed to be here. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. I'm gonna have to fight a fucking boss in here, but I don't know what it could be. You first. Thanks, Torgal. Doesn't the general stack remind me of Zenith and Turning Mist? Yeah, actually. Get him, boy. It does. Oh, wow. Fuck. Okay, now we're finally getting... Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. Realized that'll help. 
Like I just realized. This time. He's gone. Y'all answer too slow. Oh, wait. No, it's back. Uh, I don't have Devil Trigger yet. Still. Or Ifrit Trigger, or whatever you want to call it. You save your iconic abilities for the end of Stagger? Oh, does the multiplier go up at the end? Really? <gasps> Ooh, that's a pro tip. That's a pro tip right there. Yeah, I know. Calm it down, bro. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everyone on your Twitch is playing Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, it, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. Pretty interesting. I didn't get the third, um, I didn't get the third, um, wind accessory. I don't like this. Brennan streaming Crusader Kings? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, now we're going. Iron Giant, let's go. Seems the feeling's mutual. Ooh, that's faster than I expected. Much faster, holy fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh! Somebody suggested parrying, huh? That did not work. How do you parry again? You have to just get the timing perfect.
Well, that was a big improvement. Thank you. What? Oh, fuck! It's drawing in energy. Not for long, it isn't. With me. <laughs> this is our chance. There's a good boy. Dude, I do not have to know how to parry this. Damn. Yeah, I don't know how to do the the parry shit. All right, Fawn Iron. Got him. Why are you using gouge on staggered enemies? It's done. Uh, because if the stagger bar, in, the, the multiplier increases per hits, gouge is the oh, fastest amount gorgeous. of hits. And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. It's a fucking robot, Clive. Also use gouge at the 50% mark after Buster Knock. Yeah, I've been doing that as well. Jill, look. Uh, cool. I can't. It's built in. It's the only move I want to take off for more points. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Give items, please. I like how when you do it fast, it doesn't pop it until you stop. There it is. Wait, Wicked Wheel. Is that it? Yeah. Huh, can't go down that way. Gotta go around. When's the game come to PC? Pfft, I don't know, Lamau. LOL. So there's that way. What about that way? Okay, so they both go. Same spot. It's probably going to be a good, good, long fucking while. Is 
Is this a wink wink? No, dude, it could be it could be like four years before this comes to PC. Like it could be a fucking while. Tim Ryan's name is in the credits, never coming to Xbox. Oh, definitely not. Especially not with all the bullshit. Oh, oh, that's a motherfucking void scent. We got void scent down here. sound effect. It's the same sound effect. This place holds even more secrets than we thought. Is that Ferdiad from Ampador? No, shut up. How's the game? Excellent. This, this, oh man. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just a rube, but, um, I'm feeling like the switch to will I do new game plus? I don't know. The switch to the the fantastical threat is actually what I'm more interested in. <laughs> like I'm like hmm. Look out. Oh, we got some boys. Stay down. Can you believe that Schreier uh, complained about the plot change away from politics? I mean, yeah, everyone's to different taste. However, I can also uh, imagine Schreier complaining about anything because he's a miserable little bitch who name searches himself when people complain about his articles and preemptively block them well, because he can't handle something. even a crumb of people disagreeing with him. I remember when me and Chris Wolfhart, who used to be known as Mr. Fields, were complaining about an article that um, Schreier didn't write, where when Schreier, like, all that Blizzard shit came out, Schreier was like, oh yeah, I've known that everybody at Blizzard's a rapist for like 10 years, I just, you know, you know, everybody knew I just didn't write about it, cause you know, and everyone's like, yeah, that seems like a fucked up thing to do. And then he just went on a blocking spree. Even though we didn't at him or any of that shit, he was just like, oh, I'm gonna block everybody who's complaining. 
at the fact that, you know, I, as a journalist, am ostensibly supposed to do something about these kinds of things as one of the only, you know, actual good things somebody in Garm's journalism could do, but uh, fuck it. So now we've moved on from, this is no longer uh, uh, Ampador. We are now playing um, the Sunken Temple of Karn. What have we here? Another fallen wonder. <laughs> the Binding Coils of Karn, yeah. Yeah, okay. You don't know what I'm mentioning? Everything that I mention in this game that you don't understand is an FF14 thing. And I don't think it's dismissive or unfair to this game to point out the obvious influences from the team's pretty, like, major work. Right? So, it isn't a dead end after all. Right? Like, clearly they're going to use their expertise and the kinds of things they've already made as, like, a blueprint. But it's just really funny to see, like, just how much there is that is like highly similar. Like, it would not surprise me if I fought something akin to Calcabrina down here. It all seems to lead to this room. And look what's in it. Ifrit is on the fucking poster, you dumb fucks. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. That's Ifrit with Garuda's wings and Titan's legs. That is the Ur-dominant. Oh, uh. And now it's time for the echo. And uh, here comes Joshua. There. <laughs> you, you're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? Or no! Or no! Okay, well that explains the person we saw in the flashback was in fact a vision of myself. Um, and... Uh, like I've been saying the whole time. And, uh, that's, that's his Roxas. His live sec, if you would. Oh my god, I'm standing in the goddamn Ifrit hard fucking stage.
But why? But why? Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. By accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran from everything. And now, are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. You know what's funny? I knew... I knew we were in the arena. And I still... Didn't think... That we'd be... Oh, this is gonna be rough. Yeah. <sighs> 
Come on. Come on, fall down, you bitch. I mean, no. Still, you deny. Darn. Even with the truths staring right at you. Come on, Clive. Face your fears. Not this time. That is a lot of help. That is a lot of help. Fucking Dante, are you fucking kidding me? I see. You'd have me done by example. Not this time. power
Oops. a lot of help. They really want to make sure I know how to beat him. I'm beating his ass, dude. All right. I'm done running from you. All right. Time to f face the truth. Together. That That's the fucking ending to Shadow. <laughs> it's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. Dynamis Ah, it is! Accept the truth! Show yourself, you freeze. Oh, I have it full! To worry about it.
Yay! Fire shard. Well, that was definitely a lot to get that upgrade. Feel free to turn off emote only mode, guys. It's not the world that's only. Still seems evil. Still seems fairly evil. Clive, are you all right? You've just been standing there punching your own dick and balls for an hour. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. But they saw it. She saw it. I would really appreciate it if he burned off some Oh, it's not it's not leaves, it's it's the mural is slightly destroyed. That means that we get to see a full mural at some point. They'll have more stuff. Yes, Salty Azteca is right. I am now a Dracula. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me. Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. But not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself. I notice he doesn't mention. And how am I able to steal other people's powers like some kind of Mega Man? Find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet... They're what brought us back together. Let's go kill my Thank mother. You, Jill. 
Oh, he's right there! Oh, it's Roxas! If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounding. The hour is later than I thought. He looks so much like Roxas. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, you know it's good! Oh! Oh, I know it! Oh, meanwhile! Oh, meanwhile! Delivered. Who, who delivered the coffin said he said Sid paid him. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? I'll find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him, and all his filthy brood. We are now moving on to the next arc the of the game. Of the Here is the person we will be fighting. Out. Out. Yes, yes, my lord. I hope this scene ends without him looking at the box. Damn it. Okay, I hope the scene ends without us looking in the box. That's way better! That's way better! The meaning of life. I mean, that's pretty heavy, bro. Ifrit has awoken. Uh, such as Ignatian. Fiery lunge drives back enemies while doing big damage, as well as unlocking the limit break. Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those for Phoenix and can be confirmed by the ability tab. Limit break. It's beneath there. It's the Dynamis bar. Don't worry about that if you don't know what I mean by that. Release Clive's inner beast and semi-prime in Ifrit when this gauge is full. It fills in battle by taking damage as well as doing offensive and defensive shit. Semi-prime gives attack speed, gradual HP, and guard breaking strikes. So. Huzzah! Those are cheap fucking abilities. Limit break. Attribute bonuses. Wow, that's a lot. Upgrade. Adds a second gauge. Adds a third gauge. Will the Wikes? What the fu- How- Summon several protective fireballs, dealing damage to enemy that comes in contact while nullifying up to two attacks. Ignition. That's just big ass stinger right there. So I can. Oh no! These share the same slot as Phoenix? But the Phoenix abilities are so good! Mastery lets me put it anywhere. You're right. Uh, 
I'm keeping Heat Wave. But I'm grabbing Ignition. Turn to East Pool. Wicked Wheel seems pointless. Wicked Wheel is really good for breaking stagger. Like, really good for breaking stagger. Like, really good for breaking stagger. You go so fucking far. That's so weird. The dodge counter is better, huh? I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again about Lady Hannah amongst other things though she may be loath to leave I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too oh I can't go nowhere all right we should arrange an introduction then dodge counter upgrade is the DMC3 server spin move yeah but uh Oh wait, I don't even- I gotta change my gear. Cause I don't even have Rising Flames on. Gouge damage by 15%. Oh, grab it. Alright, I can't use any more fucking magic in here. Yeah, Ifrit's got better shit, bro. Oh, all my Burning Blade abilities, the people associated with the Phoenix, were actually Ifrit's fucking moves. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Toggle, what is it? Nothing good always. Imperials. Come on. Let's get him. Wasn't the blessing of Phoenix at all? It, there was a little bit. The, ble the I could do Rising Flame and I could do Heat Wave. Ah, oh, fuck, it's on fire. You know it's on fire. Ah, oh, shite. <sighs> All right, time to let her rip. You pay for this. Ah, Holy fuck! We've got a live one. Remember our orders: no survivors. Who would order such a thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's enough. That is silly as hell. That is silly as hell. Did you brand yeah. it? Yeah. You were born a slave, and you'll die one. Kill all the ducal dogs. Ducal dogs? We're innocent people. Stay down. 
guys, you're not, uh, you're not one of those. Funny. Now that I have this, all of a sudden, the fighting gets to be a lot more extreme. Yeah, I can't believe how strong I feel and how many options I have, even just with uh, the two. All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. Okay. By Empress Annabella's command! Wow. My mother ordered this. Why? Clive. Ooh, look at you. Ooh, that's quite the move, sir. Oh, man, I should probably dodge that, huh? This guy is pretty tough. Ignition's stupid as fuck. I love it. But boy, it's stupid as fuck! It's so long! I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. It is 
deserved so much better. Sorry. All of these people did. Better than my mother. I should kill my mum. It's a right cut in it. Oh, we're too late. Gav. Clive. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. Because I don't like them. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. It's complicated, yeah. Gav. But it can wait. It's really fucking complicated. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. Yeah, Gav, I don't know villages? if you know this. I'm fucking ripped now. Oi. Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. You know, I just realized the prepared. term they use for transforming Thank is you. priming. All of you. Like, the bomb metaphor is overt. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Oh my god, guys, that guy looks really suspicious. Lord Cougar's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, he's evil. Oh, look at him. Look at that evil man. You see him? He was evil. I've seen him. You know, despite playing a bunch of this game, I feel like I haven't made that much progress. I still only have two... Uh, two of the fucking six, eight, whatever. And, oh no, I have three now. You're right. Um, whoever was about to say, actually. Um. But, um. Dawn. Pretty close. Um, and. Haven't even been to most of the crystals. How long did it take to get the DT? I don't know. What do you want? I'd like... Huh. Can't upgrade it, huh? That it? Fine. That's interesting. Look what the curl dragged in. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Eh? Is this being offered to me because I missed it? Is that all? No. Weird. Weird that she sells it. Clive! 
You're all right. I am, in fact, all right. Thank you. Oh, once for cooldown and what? Ah, oh, I see. Clyde, was it? It's this morning. My name's Clyde. We gotta go see Sid, man. We gotta go kiss him. Sid, I wanna kiss you. Whew. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? Yes. I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. No. Oh. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. Yes, I don't like slavery. That is what I was talking I've about. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? Oh, fuck off. For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? Oh, That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> I really can't help but point out that like half of the entire planet's like military force is standing in this one room. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit. Yeah, my mom's a bitch. Let's kill her. Woo! Earlier, at this cool location with a big crystal, at Vobert, prior to the flood. And the last of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... What? 
The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, no, actually, I don't. Oh. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. Yeah. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. So this is the water location. So who is this guy? Leviathan? He's Bahamut's dad? Where is my son? Oh. The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Orther. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again. Well, that answers my question. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the Oh, we're just the world skipping right to this, huh? Are you mad? Okay, I fuck it. That on occasion, but no, not today. <laughs> We've all seen it firsthand. Slavery done with. Once were green meadow. Planet Land now. So dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self same crystals we look to for their so called blessing. Gene Park in the chat. Lamau, planet's dying, Clive. Listen. Yeah, for real. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. Yeah, you'd have to have a really so big, tough Imagine man to knock them down. It can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can It's I? going to you, we dumb shit! The mother crystals are divine. They're ether. You're just items. primals! For centuries, <laughs> nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Higher ups, the gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals, and what? We're not helping bearers and dominance. Oh my anymore. god, they're actually calling it out directly. That. I made a promise. That's really funny. That's really funny. 
there's only one fate that awaits the realm. That's really funny. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying. Oh my. In a okay, game. hold on. The complaints about the story shifting focus is directly, directly addressed here. And they're like, we can't. It doesn't matter if we have slavery or not, if we're all dead in like five years. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, What say you? Are you with me? Also, yeah. If we change the fundamental state of the status quo at its base, things will change. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. So like if we destroy the mother, mother crystals, it's quite possible people won't even be born as bearers anymore. <laughs> you could have just said I. Uh, Therefore, slavery is solved nice without to having to have any uncomfortable year. societal talks. So here's the here's the part that I want to see, right? What I want to see is the shit where we destroy the, like the wind crystal and cause like a cataclysmic tornado fuck ass hurricane, and everyone's I'm like, "Are we doing the right thing?" It seems like we're horribly this. fucking it up. Like God of War, yeah, a God of War three. That's what I want. I want a God of War three. I want the moment where Kratos has killed Hermes and he is looking across Greece being racked with tornadoes, uh, tsunamis, lightning, uh, not lightning, uh, and uh, horrible flies. And he goes, that's stupid. Who would do that? That's a dumb thing to do. That's my favorite part of, of God of War 3. Where he's just looking at, like, Greece having been annihilated into dirt and going, who's still? Oh, Zeus is stupid. Why would Zeus do that this? For India? That's the purpose of that. Okay. Okay. Anything else? That's the relic I have on my character right now in FF14. That is, that is the cur- That is... I'm... I'm... Hold on. Hold on. That is unbelievable. That is unreal. That is unbelievable. Okay, Gene, what did you miss? Okay, that is the weapon on my FF14 character right now. It is the relic grind right now. Okay, let's cut back to FF14. It's FF16. It's not the same? You are nuts. That is a minor difference.
That is so similar. That is so similar. Shut up. That's so funny. That is so funny. Well, I guess I don't need... I guess I don't need... Clive's fucking weapons. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? I already got them at home. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having... On second thoughts, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, same thing as these. Oh. Do I want this? Oh, I don't know. I reckon I can find a buyer. I'm be thankful you got that much. You got out else? Okay. Speaking of Oriflam, if you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it in tires. Yeah, I sold dead too. sores. Whatever. It's very clear where the strongest Just weapons are going to come from. Auto, will ya? All right. Strongest weapons are going to come from. Yes. Oh, the strongest what? weapons going to be Odin's Spawn, fucking sword. Then? Of course it is. Of of course it is. You'll not find a better prize than that. Come again. New game plus has the ultimate weapon. Oh, cool. I like Heat Wave a lot. I think Heat Wave is good. That's what Pat thinks. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Well, so would it be? And I can't. I'm laughing so hard. Obviously, it's not exactly the same, but like, come on, there, there's some obvious design work going back and forth. I wonder if I'll see he my future her. relic weapon Nothing on Clive's back in a few hours. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No. I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. You know, I have to say, um, if you're gonna burn your brand Fine. off, you should probably Tell burn more than just the serious? direct, exact shape of the brand. Thank you. So you can pass it off it as, like, like a real accident. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all yeah, a favor. Yeah, just get the whole cheek, dude. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. That's a side quest. 
All right, let's go cash in at Tomes, get that other side quest. And then I'm going to go see the wife. I have had a scratchy spot on my shoulder for like two hours. I cannot believe it has not left. I'm so mad about it. I can't reach it. I know I can't reach it. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Buy a back scratcher. I leave the safety of the hideaway. Of a coin. Got one. It's called a wife. Hey! Sad though it is. Our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you? In the Imperial Army. I was. Then I ask a favor of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? Yeah, okay, fuck it. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? I can't believe the Moogle hasn't His been giving me S ranks or any of that and shit yet. I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton. I feel like I still haven't you opened up the game. Sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Wow, 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 wow. Alright. Time to take a quick break. I will be right back. Excuse me.
go. Let's go.
Hey, dweebs. What's going on? First of all, before we move on, Ixen, subscribe. Thanks, Ixen. Really appreciate it. Oh. Hey. All right. Ooh, different locations. I switched the goddamn game over, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, fuck. Jeez. Sometimes I fucking feel like... Oh, wait, there's multiple look. Why so many location? Wait, is this... Is... Is this just... Be today. Is this just go walk up to the to spots? Bro. You haven't much, but you're free to look. Good day. Sun setting fast. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Why are you so goddamn sure low affect? Know, Clive? You have like no emotionality in your fucking voice. It's weird. It's weird. Sounds like you at work. Oh. Yeah, I get it. Uh, no, I gotta go the other way. Game voice actors are literally reading the dialogue with no context. I was talking to uh, Laura Post about 13 Sentinels. And, um, if you're impressed in the voice acting in 13 Sentinels, which you should be, um, you should be even more impressed with the fact that they were just given a sequential list of their lines to read. With no scenes, or no fucking anything. It's just a list of their lines in a row. So when I was talking, like, oh, well, you excited for, you know... See how y your your stuff worked, and she's like, "I don't know what the fuck is going on in that game story." It's like it, it fucking wild. That's how scenes in video games are done, unless it's a mo-capped, like acted, directed scene. The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but... <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. In the clearing, where you Please. can fight him in a big fucking circle arena. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. God, I'm so edge. Look at those fucking beast men. Goblins. Why am I not surprised? Oh. What? Oh, my 
I'm so glad about the fucking cooldown. Got him. <sighs> really? There we go. A bone necklace. Interesting. Beastman fucking slayed. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Why not? fucking blind. Uh. Uh. Why, hello there, darling. Yeah. Thank you, sweetheart. You okay? No, my leg hurts. You should have let me. Should have told me to go over. I would have gotten. Wow, this is fancy as hell. It's to my right. Oh, am I? Am I truly blind? Oh my god, I am blind. This dead guy. Because I'm blind, Paige. I'm highly blind. Get my eyes checked. I did. I got 2020 fucking vision. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. I got that 20 He does deserve to rot by the right side. I'll speak to Quentin. Bullshit? Yeah, I do. Unfortunately, he does have 2020 vision. I do have 2020 vision. Well, Paige brought me this fancy sandwich. So we're going to take a slight, a slight break. Uh, I'm going to go set up uh, the ability to watch something and we're going to chill out. I'll be right back.
go. Hey, dweebs. Oh, all right. Mm. I gotta eat this food. So we might as well watch Mandalore's video of that game I did a sponsorship a few days ago. Oh, you can't hear it, can you? There we go. I'm gonna move this a little bit over so you don't hear my mouth as much. It's been a long while since the Aliens franchise has come close to touching a strategy or a tactics game. I don't want to say it was because AVP Extinction was torture, but it was definitely undercooked. So now it has a brand new tactics game from the developer of Battlefleet Gothic. I didn't realize that until after I beat it, so that was a shock. It's not too often I do a video about a brand new game right at launch, but the idea of a real-time Aliens XCOM mashup thing, I was fascinated enough to get the review copy for launch. I didn't know what to expect for better or worse, because again, my baseline is Extinction. Alright, so here's what this is all about. The story takes place about 20 years after the studio bar fight that was Alien 3. The remote moon of Leafy has been colonized by Wayland yutani It's not much of a concern to the company, and shady deals like smuggling happen there all the time. You play as the deputy administrator of the orbital shipping station, Maiko Hayes. She's an idealist at heart, hoping to climb the corporate ladder the correct way, which is hard when her direct boss is a human grease tray who's facilitating all the shady deals. It makes it no wonder that Customs misses the latest and greatest threat to agriculture, which may have been intentionally unleashed on the station, but your boss isn't part of that. The Xenomorph does its thing, the station goes to hell, and Hayes activates the Cerberus Protocol, which is a network of satellites which will flechette down any ship attempting to enter or leave the planet. In true way you fashion it can't mark a clean ship, it just burns down everything. Hayes is rescued by a group of marines that were already on the station, led by Sergeant Harper. A man who is extremely prone to migraines and will only get worse now that his ship, the Otago, has been knocked out of orbit. All command staff are dead, communication is cut off with the rest of the colony, and now everything is up to them. They have to scavenge for supplies and survivors, make a plan to escape, and figure out how all of this happened. The story is not a simple framework for something more freeform either. The missions are all directly plot-driven, and there are lots of cutscenes and a ton of journal entries to find. It is punching above its weight on that angle, which is good, but the tutorial for the game tries to showcase that, and it is slow and rough. It does have a lot of mechanics to teach you, which is justified, but you'll be stopped constantly for little conversations or to watch the alien come out, and stuff that just makes it feel sluggish. What's happening in the story is interesting, but on the gameplay side, it is a bad first impression. The good news is, this isn't reflective of the game as a whole, and the first mission after this is really what you're in for. This is also a game with a few customizable difficulty settings, and it is fun to go back and replay it for a harder challenge. Which does make it annoying that there's currently no option to skip the tutorial on replay. It's not terrible, but it doesn't get better the second time. I mean, the entire appeal is role-playing as Lieutenant Gorman, sending your marines in and trying to get them out alive. There are some missions that break away from that, but this is 95% of your time. So that said, let's move on to the graphics. 
When it comes to these kinds of games, they don't have huge expectations for pure visual quality, but the sheer amount of detail combined with how massive these maps can be make it one of the most impressive I've seen. You can zoom out to the or be directly above your squad, and visually, neither of those look incorrect. Every room is packed with all kinds of objects and debris, which is already great on its own, but it also helps to give that extra level of paranoia since not every threat will immediately show up on your motion tracker. There could be an egg behind a barrel or a warrior crunched up in stasis anywhere. Your squad moves as a single unit, and a big part of the game is sweeping an area with your flashlight. It'll automatically select the nearest marine to do this, and beyond showing where the gene muggers might be hiding, it'll also highlight interactable objects, which you can eyeball, but this does help. Because some maps can have near pitch black sections, which is already hairy to navigate in, but much worse fighting in. So you do have tools to brighten things up. Even when it's not pitch black, it's still a shadowed and foggy world. Most of the environments are oppressively industrial, which is very faithful to the setting. There's still a good amount of variety inside of that, like a high-tech space station isn't going to look the same as a colonial slaughterhouse. Plus, the maps being large and having multiple layers means you can see all kinds of things inside the same mission. You could start out in the wetlands, or in the middle of a blizzard, but who knows what lies beneath. There's a fantastic sense of scale, and all the environments actually feel lived in. It's pretty cool that the game can have this massive backdrop of a spaceship, but it can scale down to show a man who died reaching for pizza. Like, you can see the slices in the box. It's that level of detail, uncompromised, on maps like these. And again, layered maps like these. Some of them are more intricate than the ones from the role-playing game. Nothing here was randomly generated, these are designed, and you can feel that. With that kind of scale, I did the have some graphical so slowdown points, which didn't like surprise me, but your intense. mileage may vary. Sometimes areas can look too washed out, but overall it does an excellent job at capturing the atmosphere that it should. Moody, mysterious, and a chance of horrors around any corner. Your loyal troops bring most of the light, and will have to hold out until the disorders kick in. The actual character models are alright, but the trade-off is there is a fair amount of customization, and upgrades that are reflected on the characters. Outside of some cutscenes, for most of the game you're mainly seeing them from a distance anyways, and they're still solid enough for this kind of genre. So I'm in the same headspace as Alien Isolation, where I don't mind the character fidelity as long as it trades off for the atmosphere. That can be tricky to pull off in a top-down game, but here, they succeed. It's also backed up by some solid sound design. All the movie effects you'd expect to be authentic, like the motion tracker and pulse rifle, those are all there. The environmental effects can also be great, like thudding machinery and loud, clunky computers processing, but the weather effects, like howling winds and rain, is definitely a standout. The ambience is strong enough that the music is very subdued a lot of the time. You might get some creeping strings or some drum beats, but it's mainly more noise to add tension. It only starts to ramp up during combat, but it's still never bombastic. Incoming! Come on, team! Hurry up, you slugs! They lost your track, squad. Good job. Quiet. He didn't see us. Okay, so... In the fucking stream I did, everyone was hearing, Hurry up, you sluts. It's slugs. With a G. With a G. Cut that door open. Open up, Sesame. For the most part, the music being low in the mix is fine for what the game is going for. Even in combat, since that'll be drowned out by gunfire and marines yelling. We got our scent. Look alive. Okay, this is really funny. There was a hot fix for the game today. Patch notes. Dramatically reduce the occurrence of the squad leader's acknowledgement after an order. Suppressive fire! Come and get it! I'm ready! Music being a quieter accent is fine for the main gameplay, but is noticeably weird aboard the Otago. This is where you do all your troop management, and sometimes it feels like being in a void. Like, you've just come back from an absolute shit show of a mission. You barely pulled it off, but you accomplished the mission, and this is what's waiting for you. I'm not saying it needs to be a parade, but it makes the Otago feel weirdly empty. You can't do that when you're trying to invoke the XCOM deployment menu. <laughs> we can be a little more gung-ho about shooting aliens. Jesus, no wonder the squad leader's depressed. I don't know, I feel like getting hyped up before getting your ass kicked is very in the spirit of aliens. There are plenty of tense, foreboding tracks in the franchise to draw from, but as is, Otago management feels very barren. 
Let's hope our Matt won't sue us. The voice acting can also be a bit all over the place. The main cast is solid, and most of the Marines give a good delivery. Hey man, if that ever happens to me, just shoot me, okay? They'll get doused with acid and scream their head off, and that's all great. There are some lines that are more flat, but the worst of them are when they try to quote the movie. It almost seems like the voice actors themselves hated it so much they started doing it ironically. Game over, man! Game over! Oh my god. Those things are handy for close encounters. Fighting these beasts with shovels, harsh language, and pickaxes. This isn't just in-game callouts either, like there's a part here where Hayes and Harper get into a fight. And I am interested in what's happening, and then... Well congratulations, Hayes, when it comes to badass your state of the art! I just find this shit so distracting. And I don't mean to be no fun allowed who doesn't like quoting aliens sometimes. But it happened enough here that it became worth bringing up. Because if the game is already this detailed, faithful recreation of the movie's setting, I assume they like the movie. It comes off as being desperate when it doesn't need to do this. The game is going off in its own direction and story, so those constant callbacks start pulling me back out of it. It's still not as bad or desperate as Colonial Marines, which also had the sharp sticks pre-order item. You know, as referenced by Hudson in the movie. We got nukes, we got knives, sharp sticks. I'm just shocked they didn't include a Pwn's harsh language sonic gun. Wait, that's real? It's not a huge deal, but was jarring enough to bring up. An alien's line here or there in your alien's project is fine, but when it's this often, it's mostly obnoxious. Mostly. I do give a pass oh! to Let's Rock because that at least sounds natural. We're spotted. Let's rock! He gets a pass too. That's so polite. <coughs> On the gameplay side, it clearly does take inspiration from the RPG, though obviously more combat focused, but the core of the game revolves around risk. From the moment you're deploying your first marines, they have personality traits, and of course, none of them are good. They could be higher chances for RNG screw-ups, or flat debuffs like a guy who keeps starting shit and everyone's so on their downtime. Hard, it turns out not all the marines joined up for their love of slaying dragons, but were in fact tricked by the recruiter at their high school cafeteria. Others are survivors who can hold a gun, so for now, no one is fully committed. Eventually, you could get an attribute to remove the negative trait, but that comes with experience. You can also buy supplies for the deployment like tools that let you weld doors, repair robots, hack computers, and a lot more. You've also got your standard issue first aid kits, and of course, the sentry guns. Ammunition is also an issue, but you can't deploy with extra. Now, you can find all these things throughout the mission, but with the exception of ammo, you can't carry all of it. And going back to how intricate the maps are, supplies can be very spread out. Oh that unknown God. factor with your supplies is the second layer of uncertainty. Now, while the game has a lot of combat, avoiding unnecessary confrontations is central. When the aliens first realize you're there, they launch a hunt for you. At first, the aggression is pretty light, but as the hunt goes on, it starts ticking upwards. Whether you kill them, distract them, or run away, if you can hide out long enough, the hunt will end. But that overall aggression meter stays where it was. As the mission goes on, the attacks become more elaborate and violent. When you hit a new level of aggression, the hive will launch an onslaught. This gives you about 30 seconds to prepare before the penetration parade arrives. They can also be joined by larger forms like the Praetorian and the Crusher, which actually debuted in Colonial Marines. These are called Class II Xenos, and they could be called that because these are the only two types. And for how many forms this franchise has now, that is disappointing. I mean, I'd love to see the carrier make an HD return. Anyhow, Whoa. as the mission goes on and the hive starts screeching louder, the aggression levels will get out of control. Beyond the risk to your squad's health, you also have their stress to manage. You can control it through some squad leader abilities, using a first aid kit to pop pills, or use tools to weld up doors and create a shelter the gang can rest in. You shall not pass, fuckers. As your troops get more experienced and brave, they can slow down the onset of stress, but stress is a little demon that compounds misery. With each new level unlocked comes new negative effects, unless you treat it. They can get so scared that their hands shake and they're less accurate, they can be confused or panic and have less points for combat skills, or start ranting and raving, stressing everyone else out. For an extra kick, for each level of stress reached in a mission, even if you heal it, you receive a trauma point, which means you want to mitigate stress early. Because if you don't, the whole squad will roll up with all kinds of new disorders. The squad leader can become much more depressed. Post-mission, you have a med bay to heal the marines who got too physically injured, and an entire trauma ward, because the sounds of hissing just do not leave at night. You can just throw them back into the fight if you don't mind the smart gunner being borderline, but this all loops back into managing your health, stress, and supplies. Is the mission worth it if the squad will be out of commission for days and unstable after if you don't spend even more? The genius of this game is you can extract at any time. In fact, you're encouraged to do this because the maps are so large and can have so many secondary objectives open up that it expects you to do it in multiple deployments. These are persistent maps. What door you welded or where a broken sentry might be, that all stays. But you have a fresh squad and unbothered aliens. But it feels like more than one trip for the groceries. 
We can do it. We don't need a <laughs> second trip. Oh god, we do on this one. This was three trips of suffering. So combat is inevitable, but the game gives you tools to try and avoid it for as long as you can. Your motion tracker is still your first line of defense against faraway threats. From there you can try to avoid it entirely, or sneak around using cover. You can go on the offensive too, a class like the Recon could eventually unlock a suppressed sniper rifle, or use a sentry gun without a squad, which the Hive can break easily, but they won't know the whole squad is around. You can find the awful hidey holes the aliens come out of, and leave a deployable motion tracker as an early warning system. These can also emit a ton of noise before destroying themselves, so they make for a great distraction. Combine that with laying down minefields, or slowing them down by welding off doors. They'll have to break it down like a cat wanting to be let in. You'll unlock all kinds of tools and upgrades as the game goes on, including Xenotech, which you get through exploration or risky side objectives like murdering queens. And even the act of killing the queen can expose your troops to Hydrofloric Splash Mountain. Xenotech can give you ways to remove facehuggers, acid-proof armor, but again, each deployment, it's gonna cost some resources to use it. And eventually in the campaign, the Cerberus Protocol puts a time pressure on you. It is adjustable in the options, but it makes your deployments more cautious, if you do decide to deploy. The game has a ton of ways of stacking pressure, but it makes your choices feel meaningful. And that does range from the bigger campaign event and upgrade choices, down to really small things in combat. For an easy example, your squad has two speeds of walking and running. They can only move and shoot if they're walking, so combat seems like a no-brainer here. Find a nice spot to set up a choke point and go nuts. This seems well and good, until you realize the aliens can start snatching your guys away. You might not catch him running and shooting, so you can give chase, if it's alone, and probably get him back. But if you try to do that while the squad is still under attack, you put everyone at risk and can easily be wiped. Sometimes, you've got to make some hard calls. There are humanoid enemies too, which you naturally get worried about when you hear that that's going to be in an alien game. And there are some sections that are just straight up gunfights. They're fine on their own, but not a strength of the game and not what people are coming for. And the developers seem very aware of that. The sound of gunfire, and especially explosions, will attract the aliens. So some fights turn to absolute mosh pits, unless you find a way to get the aliens on them first. Unless they're part of the cult that lives in That's harmony cool. with the xenomorphs, then you've got problems. You getting tension and problems piled on but still pulling through it is the core of the game. And it's an extremely strong one. Moments like reloading a sentry just in time or moving your APC into the perfect choke point. There's only a dozen missions and some are only 15 to 30 minute affairs, but others can last hours. There's room for all kinds of situations, and a lot of replay value. If it seems too high pressure for real time, the game does slow down when you use an ability, but you can change that to be a complete pause if you want to. I did go with slow-mo so I wouldn't be completely off the hook, but the game can be gentler. I did have a lot of fun playing it, but there are some noticeable shortcomings. On the polished side it was mainly good, there might be a visual bug or something not working that would always fix in a load. The biggest danger is the pathfinding, which overall is still pretty great for how large the maps are. But there are certain crates and objects in a few levels where it seems like a marine can get more easily stuck. If you don't notice it, that's a disaster waiting to happen. I'm sure stuff like that will be more polished up, so that's not one of my bigger issues. Having the squad move as one unit is convenient, but you can't separate them out manually, only if they're going to an interactable object, or something that's already placed on the map. You can't do something like move a single marine to open a door to have more line of sight for your weapons. I get why they didn't have that level of individual control, but there were times where I did miss it. Speaking of control, there are a few times where you lose it and get cutscene run into an alien hive or something that I would never do on my own. <laughs> which is extra annoying when you immediately start getting obliterated. It'll usually give you the courtesy of saying a big fight is coming up, but not always. It can also be unclear where the fight will be. Also, the lack of unique alien varieties is still a disappointment. When you're listing the egg, facehugger, and chestburster as three, that feels like some reaching. There is a pretty cool new one, but it's only a set piece at the very end of the game. They do mix up what they have by giving them different abilities, which does change up how you handle a fight, but not dramatically. I would have liked if they had more variants to really throw a wrench in your plan, or at the very least, more Class 2 forms. Class 2 approaching only meaning a Crusher or a Praetorian is incredibly underwhelming. The game is paced well enough where it doesn't feel stale, my first run I beat in a little over 20 hours. It's still cutting it close, and as much as I'd like for there to be more missions in the future, there'd have to be new aliens. I get he's a big dude, but you're expecting him to carry too much. It also feels bad that the final mission in the game isn't a big final hurrah with your squad, but instead a mission more like the tutorial where it's some pre-established story characters, and not much of the tactics you've been playing the game for. If it was a great story wrap-up, I'm sure I wouldn't care. The game's story has interesting and even some thoughtful elements to it, but I do think it gets snagged by a now long-running series trap where it raises a lot of questions but doesn't answer them. 
There are payoffs on the character's side, at least when it comes to Hayes and Harper, but others are picked straight out of a jar for movie stereotypes, and you'll guess where things are going. Like the movie lines, there's a lot of unnecessary retreading. Having a cult that is somehow in harmony with the aliens is already an interesting draw. And if you look through the logs, there's a lot about how cults like this form in the first place. Wayland yutani is a horrible company, and people are desperate for a new life and a new chance. And that could have been a background detail and just been the end of that. Instead, we have to go through Wayland yutani is evil, they want money and power, we've seen this so many times now. They do make a point of saying good people work for the company and may have compromised themselves to advance. Hayes is learning that legality does not equal morality, but that angle is not that interesting because you've seen this kind of story all over the place. At this point, the Wayland yutani logo is basically a space swastika. I don't think its higher-ups being involved in nefarious shit can be considered a reveal anymore. At this rate, a Wayland executive being good would actually be a twist. I'm not saying it's bad because the story does have its cool moments and knows when to keep some mysterious things crystal. He's not wrong, but, but it's still funny to the hear. trailer extremely caught your attention like it did for me, it's never expanded on into being something great. I struggled with whether or not to talk about the story in more detail here. I've realized that the plot is good at keeping you moving forward, but a lot of reveals are extremely mundane or very abrupt. Some people die in a blink. The more unique elements are left open-ended, and while the last mission does raise some great potential, I can in fact give you a louder tear. I still found if you want. it ultimately unsatisfying. It came across like they had a great concept, but aren't yet sure where to go with it. I just wish the story had been more focused in, because I prefer what's happening with Harper and the Colonial Strog. As is, the imagery is more interesting than what they actually do with it. But it's okay because the game is fun. Greatest envy, grant us your strength. Overall, I really enjoyed my time with Dark Descent. I didn't know I wanted an Aliens game like this until I played it, since most of what I envision is in first person. It's also not being sold as a full-priced game, so if you like the setting or high-pressure tactics games, I think you could pick so it when up. When am I going on the Please happy. Stop the Talking fence, Podcast? I'm not familiar with the Please Stop Talking Podcast. It might be worth it to wait for a sale when it's a little more polished. I do hope it's not the end of the game and they have some mission packs or something like that in the future. It has great mechanics that really appeal to the risk versus reward I like in the genre, and with more tools, weapons, and enemies, I think it can only get stronger. Overall, this game was a great surprise, and I wish this was the one that was called Colonial Marines. It oh, Mando's podcast? a lot more worthy of the name. All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, I, th I follow a guy from that. I want to say Meow Man, but that's wrong. All right, hey, hold up. I'm going to get some water. We'll hop back into Final Fantasy. Excuse me. Fuck, didn't change the game. Didn't change the game. Gotta change the game now. Uh, there we go. Game is changed. And we're back. All right, let's finish up these side quests before calling it a day. Ah, fuck off, really? It's a fucking game and it's goddamn use of, of juice. All right, we're just gonna go right back. Wonder how long that'll take. Wow, wow. That'll be enough today. But how did the grocer know his dog?
Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. Though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Oh yeah, what are you gonna give me four dollars? <laughs> I did that for twenty experience. <laughs> you fucking serious? Courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. All right. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. This cannot possibly be. More of the lost supplies. Nothing even attacked me, bro. He could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. Ah. We've come this far. There we go. Might as well ask around. There we go. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Trachezoid, that's fucking hilarious. They absolutely should have done that. You know, I'm gonna try out Will of the Wikes. I'm gonna try it out. I would like to see how that works. Wait, how long does it... How long does it last? That lasts a while. It's looking to be a fine harvest this year. Yeah, Mega Man leaves, yeah. I think it only left because I came into town. Back, are you? Did Master Quintin summon you? The shad's all salted and smoked. A whole day on the line and they're still not trying. Hey, it's that dog. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. That dog looks like shit. Someone's waiting for this. And he's waiting long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. 
That was a hell of a quest. <laughs> Torgal did take the good dog textures. I just, Otto barking at his lot earlier. And I just realized. How long? 800. Oh, that's. I can test <clears throat> how it works here. Does it fucking not leave? It's almost back. It's over. You're finished. That's just zany. Oh, damn it. Is there, um, an, an, ah, select target. Gygus. So good, that's better than ignition. Why is it so good? If Reed seems pretty good, I'm sorry. Maybe I should just own up to what Owen said. Well, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway, and thankfully, Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um. Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. Yeah, I did it. No more skulking about in the Why didn't you just go do then? that? And all thanks to you. 
I did it. Losing those supplies is one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? <laughs> if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He said Cursebreakers were worrying about, but they weren't. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Complete. Wow. These side quests don't give you fucking shit for fuck, dude. Like, embarrassing. I heard Otto barking at his line. Take a seat, Clive. So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's God's for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Dude, I love being an air duel. making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dane. Who? And it's the Dane who will see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back. This is a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. Ah. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A I woman. see. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Why am I looking at this fucking guy? Speak to GOAT, Alliant Report. Reports compiled with the curse breakers contain information on quests. Hmm? I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Yeah. Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse oh, breakers. I see. Or any other willing volunteers. Side quest, man. Well, there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Gout, who the fuck are you? Me? The way I see it. So, what'd you say? That was worthless. Anything catch your eye? Alliant reports not only following new quests, but also travel immediately. 
to the location. Huh. Okay. Fine. Side quest man. It's so funny there's sparts of the sparts parts of this that are just open. Sorry, closed. Oh, Fuck. Sins, man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't try. I teleported you to you, sir. That depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them. Try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? Fuck it, sure. I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. The fact that so many of these offer me, like, nothing is weird. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're... Safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. Yeah, dude. I'm hungry. My sister too. We're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <sighs> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. That'll be enough today. And Man, this whole slavery thing is a real problem. It seems like their entire economy is based entirely on slavery. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. How about I fucking pay you? What the fuck it's is this nonsense? It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Yo, what the fuck is up well, with this guy? Don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. You'll find bread and wine on the counter. If you need more... Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Just put it right in your pocket, man. Right in your fucking pocket. Don't tell me. Turn it for something. Brother, did you see? Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? We don't have time to show these people eating. Don't worry about it. Plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Wow, y'all are wretched as fuck, man. That's depressing. 
Oh my god, these these I'm like I'm not annoyed. I'm like I'm like my mouth is agape at these side quest rewards. That is like one random battle. Less than in some cases. That's so weird. Master Quinton. I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. <laughs> and you need someone to solve your pest problem. <laughs> I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? I will fight the, the fucking... Rid us of these wasps I'll fight so the wasps, man. Business. I'll do it. All I'll right. fucking do it. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, lost... I got you. I got you. This is so funny. These are just like 14 side quests, not just in tone, but in terms of reward. 14 side quests are one of the strangest side quests in any MMO I've ever played because the, be the um, the like XP reward for them is like the worst thing in the entire game you could do. Save for like killing random mobs. It's wild. We fucking did it. Really? I parried the wasp? That's fucking weird. The late game side quests have good rewards? Yeah, for real. I hope so. So, um, here's what sucks. Um, this is an incredible move that feels really bad to use. It, it actually feels incredibly bad to use because um, it costs hit stagger on every little tiny hit. Um, which makes everything feel like shit. Also, Heat Wave is never leaving. The thing rules. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotan Druge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. 
The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. Yay. All right, time to teleport to a slightly different area. Oh, I'm glad it shows it on the map. It's really nice, actually. Dude, stop chilling that fish. It's done. It's done. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but... Oh, please help them. It's really funny to have her blade. Right. Help me! Help me! And Clive's like... Oh, thank you. How many were there? Yes. I was out of the door too fast to count. <laughs> they looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? Clive is a witcher, yes. Oh, fuck, some ah, cutthroats. Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, oh, frame rate's not liking it. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Really? He's just a guy who walked in. I want that blade. Let's get this over with. He just walked in. <laughs> That's just fucking funny. <laughs> I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. That was that was there fucking he is, embarrassing. The hero of the golden stables. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. I see. Then you do Rosario a great service. Just as you did today. I'm only letting the first fucking thing go. This dialogue is so fucking pointless. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. Fuck off. <laughs> fucking 20 experience. God, Lord. All right, so. I've tried it a couple times. There he is, the man of the hour. Uh, I don't like the the new. I don't like this. I do not like that. Going back to gouge and wicked wheel. Oh, I can finally level up gouge. Wow! Look at that summon shit. Anything else? No. Oh wait, somebody's got new stuff to sell. I bet it's not actually new stuff. I bet it's the same stuff at every other merchant. Anything catch your eye? It sure is. How old is it? Why do you like gouge? The damage is so low. Because it's not about the damage, it's about the stagger, Otacon. I've said this like four times. 
Also, you use it at the beginning of a of a stagger thing. It drives up the it drives up the um uh it drives up the 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 gauge really high. Uh, Remember how there was an interview where they said there would not be typical pointless side quests? Uh, I'm not sure how they thought that. I, f I feel like you could take every one of these side quests out of the game right now. It wouldn't matter. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Oh. Just the three of us, then. Drake's head is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. Ifrit still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? Dude, I was like a 15-year-old. You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few That's days. not true! You two behave now. That increases your chance of being noticed by a hundred percent. Oh. See. So, we're meeting in. That's weird. Fourth reach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? I call you. Did Master. Oh, my God, wait. The Shazel. They all split up? That increases your chances of being found by 200%! It's fucking nonsense! So ridiculous. Okay. So that, that light flare right in the middle of the screen showed up during the Garuda cutscene, and I thought it was the goddamn, like, Ultima Weapon fucking green bullshit bug. It's over, Antelope. That gave me more ability points than all of the side quests I just did.
All right, that's it for me today, boys. I hope you had fun. We'll be streaming again tomorrow. Might be streaming closer to a more regular time. Oh. There we go. Yep. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. All right. Ah. I'm not doing a 16 hour stream. That's stupid. Yanner's fighting Garuda right now. Perfect. Perfect. Before I do that, I want to thank Signal Obscura for rating the channel about an hour ago. Thanks, Signal. Appreciate it. Um, I also want to thank Unfun Knee TV. Kicked in a sub. Love you, Pat. You the best. Thank you. And Mr. Rocket sub. Hey, Pat. I'm thinking about giving those Pikmin games a shot. Uh, let's see. The first game is about eight hours long, and I find it funny that Nintendo made a col funky collectible uh, uh, based RTS games. Nobody actually plays RTS games, seems to have played them, while Nintendo fans, of course, do not play other games. Yeah, that's pretty funny. All right. We're going to be raiding Yanners. Say hi for me. Be polite. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.